we talked about how the Fibonacci sequence is seen in nature and it's called phi and it's seen in the composition of some really good art. So we're gonna do a quick artwork that uses the Fibonacci sequence numbers to create something in the natural world that that is commonly seen in the natural world. So you can see here with these flowers and this plant, how it has this spiral in this in this number code. So we're going to go in and use that number sequence in mandalagaba.com. So go to mandalagaba.com. And it's spelled M A N D A L A G A B A com. When you get there, it'll load a screen. And first, I would like you to type a one in that upper corner and set your settings on mirror and translate. And then if you want to change your background color, you can do that. You just select a color from here. You can select how light or dark it is. And then you hit the paint bucket to fill with that color. Right, and then you're gonna pick a different color, a lighter color that'll show up on that background. And we're gonna be drawing with that color. So I'd like you to draw a petal. So it doesn't have to be complicated, just like you're drawing the letter C, but start right here where the dotted lines get from really close together to spaced out. Start there and draw yourself a petal. Now, in the Fibonacci sequence, zero plus one is one and one plus one is two. So then our next number up here is two. So we're gonna go to two right here. So we change this number now at the top to two and then go on the dotted line and draw another petal on two. If you can draw them similar, that really helps. If you don't like what you drew, you can hit the circular arrow and that'll undo. Draw another petal and then one plus two is three. So then we're gonna change this number to three and then go on your dotted line and draw another petal and bring it down to the middle. And then we're, so two plus three is five. So in the Fibonacci sequence, it's always adding the number before to this number. So then we start in the middle and we draw out another petal on the dotted line for the five. And then we uh, three plus five is eight. So we up the number now to eight and go on your dotted line again, start in the middle, bring out a drawing of another petal, but bring it out a little bit further than the previous. And then the next number is five plus eight, which is 13. So we bring this number up to 13. Again, go on the dotted line and draw out another petal, bringing it together and out further than the previous one. And if you wanna change colors in between these steps, that's fine. The next number is 21. Set it at 21 and again, Start in the middle, come out. And then the next number is 34. And we're gonna stop there. This number is an irrational number that goes to infinity. So we're not gonna do every single one, um, but I just wanted you to have at least an experience of working with these numbers. Kind of the way flowers in nature do they they've kind of a lot of flowers follow this pattern so when you're done then you hit save and share and it will render a smaller image of what you just created you hold down your alt button and click on your image and you're going to choose copy image and then you go over to your a uh, document where we have all of your artwork. So it's usually called Your Name Art. And in there, we're going to click in that document towards the top. And so I'm going to go here to here, and then I'm going to paste. So that's Control V to paste. 
So there's my image. And the title should be You could probably name it Fibonacci flower or Fibonacci star or something like that. And we're going to, you go ahead and give it a title first. And it says art created using the Fibonacci sequence. The medium is mandala gaba. And the size is actual and it's by and then put your name and then today's date. Make sure you share this document with me and turn it in on your Canvas page under the assignments. All right, and that's all there is to it.